All right, today students at a local high school are grieving the loss of a friend and hoping two others who are hurt make recoveries after a car crash. Grief counselors will meet with students this morning at Highland High School in Medina County. News Channel 5's Dan Haggerty was the first reporter on the scene of the crash yesterday morning and joins us today from Highland High School with more. Dan. Hey, good morning, Kim. Morning, everybody. You got the middle school behind us here. The high school just down the road, about a quarter mile from where I'm standing is where this crash happened. And everybody in this entire community has been affected. And it is going to be a very difficult day for students at the middle school and the high school who knew the people involved in this crash. They have grief counselors on hand to help anybody having trouble with the situation. Again, though, the crash happened on Wilbur Road in Granger, uh, Granger Township. 16-year-old Erin Airbar pulled from her driveway and was T-boned by another car driven by classmates, 17-year-old Jonathan, Sli Jonathan Slifka. Aaron was killed. Her 13-year-old brother, Andrew, sitting in the passenger seat, went to the hospital in critical condition. Sifka is recovering at the hospital. There is a hidden driveway sign on that road that tells cars to slow down to 30 miles per hour. Otherwise, drivers continue at the 50 mile per hour posted speed limit on that road. Uh, Highland High School, their website had this statement on it. It says, Aaron was a wonderful student with a contagious smile and had many close friends at Highland and in the community. The district will continue to have counselors, again, available on hand for the students, for the staff, and I'm sure for anybody who feels like talking. And this area has had a lot of tragedy lately uh, with its high school students, with the children in this community. We're going to talk a little bit more about that coming up later in this hour of Good Morning Cleveland. For now, reporting live, Dan Haggerty, News Channel 5. All right,